I will make some modifications to improve the performance of the headlights. This mod comes courtesy of Tecos from the Triumph Red website. If you want to check out all the details, link is in the description below. The gist of it is this. The original configuration results in a lot of voltage drop at the bulbs, which then in turn decreases the brightness of the bulbs themselves. This can be fixed with a few small modifications. The bike has two headlights, each equipped with high and low beam. When you turn the ignition switch, which is connected to here, there's power going to this relay here through the fuse box. What this does is switches off the power to the lights when you're, when you're trying to start the engine. So all power can be concentrated to the starter motor. But when that's not the case, you get the power feed directly to this, switch, uh, this connector, which is your physical switch for your light. When you switch the lights on, you'll get power through one of the wires out here to this connector, which is one side of your headlight. Let's say you turned on the low beam. You got the low beam on here, and then this wire is spliced, and there's an other one going all the way to the relays. This relay gets a signal that this headlight has been turned on, and then this relay gives power back to the other connector, which powers the other side on. And this is the same for low and high beam. That's why you have two relays here. This is really not a good solution in my opinion, because you always want to avoid having power going through your physical switches. You want the relays to do all the heavy lifting. Another big problem is that there's very small gauge wiring used both to feed the relays with power and for the power to pass to the lights. So we're going to fix this. What we're going to do is we're going to use part of the existing harness where the physical switch of the light will signal the relay to turn on the light. But instead of also giving power to one headlight, it will just signal the relay and the relay will power both headlights. This is the same for low and high beam. And what we're also going to do is install some thicker gauge wiring, both for supplying the relays with power and also for the relays to supply the headlights with power. First, we're gonna do a quick test with the original wiring where the separate headlights are powered one from the switch directly and the other from the relay. So let's put on the ignition. I have hooked up the battery. So let's just uh, first measure the unloaded voltage on the system. So we have 12.12 volts. Let's turn, turn on the lights. Now the loaded voltage on the system is 11.72. And at the light output on one side, I have on one side I have 10.68, and on the other terminal I have 10.6567. What we are going to replace is the other two wires. One that's supplying the relays themselves with power, which is the purple line, and the purple red and purple green, which is supplying the other side of the headlight with power. These two were completely removed from the harness. Now that we've got these two out of the harness, we'll be taking them out of the socket and we are going to be installing the new thicker gauge wiring which will deliver the power to the two headlights. I'm 
I'm pulling in three new wires to the every days. One will be for the low beam and the other for the high beam. Next up is making the cable to be able to feed the relays directly from battery power through the fuse box. So we're going to come from the battery terminal and go through the harness again, come into the fuse box. There is an empty spot here that we can use. And then from the fuse box, to make it easier, instead of having to split a wire up here, I'm gonna go back with two wires to feed the two relays. Of course, these are also going to the fuse box. But due to the aforementioned issue, not having the right quince just yet, we are also going to push straight these through the uh, fuse box here. Before we forget, we need to remove the old power lines from the harness. They are, of course, coming from the fuse box. Now we're getting very close to finishing this upgrade. We have both power lines directly from the relays, as well as both grounds. We have direct power for the relays through the fuse box. Last thing for now is replacing these connectors and most importantly removing all the old lines for these two light connectors that are not going to be in use anymore. So one of our grounds came from a junction in here the other ground to the other connector came from a junction here and the power to the first connector was directly from the connector of the switch itself. Here we are just going to take apart this uh, piece of electrical tape that was installed by Triumph and remove the wire in here. So one interesting thing to see is that there is quite a bit of corrosion over here, so we might even need to replace a small section of this wire because there was just so much power going through these very thin wires and maybe some moisture got in there, so it started corroding it away. Remember to put some heat shrink already on the tube. And since this wire is only going to be supplying power, to pull the relay is going to most likely last forever without any issues. In one of my upcoming videos, I'll be building a complete wiring harness from scratch for my BMW R80 project bike utilizing a motor gadget unit as its brain. If you're interested, hit the subscribe button below and click the notification bell to make sure you don't miss the upload. And if you want to watch me tackle some mechanical problems or build a motorcycle workshop lift from scratch, click the little eye icon in the top right corner of the video. Alright, I've wired everything up again. And if we've done it all correctly, when I put on the ignition switch and turn on the lights, this should come on. So the battery is connected, we have power on the system. Let's turn on the ignition switch and hit the lights and nothing happens so i have messed up something and now i need to figure out what after five seconds of troubleshooting i realized that i had uh, forgotten to plug in the relays themselves so that would have been a bit difficult for the the lights to work All right, 
back to testing. We have now power on the system and ignition switch is on and let's see and we have lights. Now that we have all the wiring sorted and the relays are in place let's also measure the voltage and compare with our previous measurements. Ignition switch is on so we have unloaded battery voltage 11 point, uh, sorry 12.1 we turn on the lights and we have loaded voltage 1165 volts and let's check what is it at the lights and it's 1129 so we have significantly less voltage drop. I'm actually surprised because there's still a bit but overall I think this solution is going to work really well and this should last also a very very long time. We've significantly increased the performance. At the tested voltages the light output had been increased by close to 30 percent and at operational voltages closer to 14 volts the improvement would be even more significant. The best thing about this mod is that following the same logic you can do this to any motorcycle or car and as a result see better at night and be safer.